Did you know that you can create animations in Painter? It may be one of the most overlooked and valuable uh, attributes that Painter has. To show you how it's done, I'll create a real quick one. And we will come in here, create a new image. And instead of the default coming up where it is just image, we'll create a movie. In this case, we'll do it with 10 frames just to uh, show you how easy this can be and how quick. We'll just save it. Uh, untitled and we'll leave all the properties of the frame stack um, at the default. Frame stack is basically painter's way of uh, arranging the animation, keeping track of the frames, that kind of thing. So here we are, uh, currently frame one, as you can see here, also up here says frame one. I'm just going to use smooth flat uh, liquid ink. I probably am going to switch to a pen and I'm just going to use a smooth ink pen in this case and we'll draw really quick just a smiley face and over 10 frames we'll change the expression on this smiley face. This can go really quick and for these purposes we'll want to. So I've drawn frame 1, move to the next frame. You can see my frame 1 preview, frame 2. There's nothing there. It's a little hard to create an animation if you can't work with what you've done. So by clicking the tracing paper tab I can turn on the onion skin and this makes it possible for me to see the previous frame. So I can continue drawing on frame two. And we'll start to smooth out his mouth a little bit. Click forward, frame three. You can see the preview of frame two. So we're drawing on frame three now. And we'll start to make his eyes a little more smaller. We'll make him a little beadier as we go. Change his mouth. Go to frame four. Make his eyes a little bit smaller still. And usually as you go through, leave on the tracing paper so you can see what you're doing. Go to frame five. And we'll just continue to do this. Gonna make his eyes a little smaller. Change his mouth just a little bit each time. Frame six. And as you can see, this is really pretty easy. You can, of course, use all of Painter's features as you're working on an animation. You're not just limited to doing something as simple as what I'm doing here, just to show you how it works. So, make him gasp a little bit in frame seven. Oh no, that's a really rotten circle, but we'll go ahead and go with it. You can, of course, if you need to, for example, if I'm in this frame and I draw a circle, draw one eye, draw a second eye in his mouth, but I move on and forget, oh no, I can also back up and redraw it. So I'll go on. Now we're on frame 10 of 10, so this will be our last frame. And our movie is done. I will move the frames per second slider down to about 10. I am going to turn off the tracing paper and we'll preview the movie real quick just for a second. There's our movie. I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to do a save. And it gives me a number of options I can use. AVI, QuickTime, you pick the one you want. I'm going to go ahead and save it as an AVI at 10 frames per second. Click OK. And it will bring up the box and I'll just tie it to the face and we'll do a save. Yes, I'll go ahead and replace this one. Saves it. You have a number of options here. Click OK. And there now is your movie. And if you just want to watch it for a minute, you can play it again. And that's a simple way to do animations in Painter.